My name is Namike Jofo. I'm a lawyer, one of the lawyers representing yes. Mazen Nambitano and the indigenous people of Biafra. This press conference is to bring to the forefront the very despicable challenges we face in this country. And that is talking about enforced disappearance of persons who were arrested by This particular conference, you just hate them or hate their tribe. Is that the reason why you have refused to bring them before a court of law? We are actually at a loss as to what is in the mind of the security agencies of Nigeria. That we believe that a country that practices democracy ought to act democratically in all things and in all manner. Removing people and putting them in Kanji Dam, a concentration camp, a labor camp, removing them and putting them just like Germans did to the Nazis, just like the Germans did to the, to the Israelites during the times of Hitler. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Yes. Your point is made. Now, what are your requests? What do you want? What Our request is this. Yes, so that we can... You have it. breached the laws of the land. Release these men and women that you have abducted or kidnapped unconditionally and with immediate effect. That is one. Pay them compensation. That is two. Apologize to them and apologize to Nigerians whose sensibility you have assaulted and insulted by this barbaric act of kidnapping, abduction, and illegal detention and forced disappearance. We encourage and urge members of the Nigerian society to interrogate and query the federal government of Nigeria and its security agencies as to the sensibility behind the rape of our constitution. What is, what do you want to achieve by abusing the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? If you do not like the constitution, then is it not better you set it aside and declare national state of emergency and throw away the constitution so that everybody will now know that we are governed by the whims and caprices of this administration. So we are urging and asking and requesting the entire society, the entire Nigerians, and not only Nigerians, the international community, to come to our aid, to urge and to impress on the federal government of Nigeria that laws must be obeyed. And the way to obey the law is not to disrespect the constitution. We cannot act in the fashion of the bandits. We cannot continue to act in the fashion of Boko Haram in the pretext that we want to enforce law and order. Two wrongs, they say, can never make a right. If these people have committed a crime, bring them before a court of law. If, they, if you have no charge against them as of now, then release them to their families. This little girl was four years making noise, was four, four months when the, the father was removed. Today, she's almost an adult without a father. Thanks to the Nigerian army who, who arrested a human being and don't know where they kept him. So, gentlemen of the press, those are our issues. We want them to be released. We want compensation. We want a public apology to them and to the entire nation of Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Gentlemen, you may ask questions. The, you may ask them all also the individual questions. So come for any question relating to the issue on the table. I have a question, please. Yes. Okay. This request, is it in a suit? Is there a suit, a suit for everybody or individually? We have, there are some we have consolidated suit on. Then there are some we have individual suits on. We, we went to court as it came. But the embarrassing thing is that, despite the orders of court that these people should be produced, they have failed, refused, and or neglected to produce them before those courts. Despite the order of court that these people should be released, 
Till today, they have failed, neglected, and or refused to release them. So they, they neither take you to court nor release you. Thank you. Another question. I want to find out uh, by way of when we all together, how many people have been hurt? As of now, as of uh, yes. as of today, in my own list, yes. in my own list, I have twenty four persons. Twenty four persons. There are so many who have been calling. Please include my own person. I said no. This is my list first. Other lawyers have their lists. But in my own list, I have 24 human beings, both men and women. Some of them, 75 years old, like Cletus Edole, a pastor, 75 years old. His younger brother, another pastor, another reverend, both of them from the same family. And the wife. That is the wife. The wife too was in pain for over one year plus. <laughs> wow. In fact, the entire family was, was removed. They bought their house. Want her pharmacy shop, want the church, then brought them to, to Abuja here. What's one this? year, four months. Imo State. Brought them to Abuja, one year, four months for her. But see, today we have not seen the husband, we have not seen the husband's younger brother. The daughter who was who is uh, studying nursing was also removed from her school. Thoroughly beaten up in the school and, and removed by this man and brought to Abuja here. Then after a couple of months, she was released. Of course, released into a homeless place. She had to run away to look for shelter somewhere. And as I speak to you now, that academic session passed. No charge, no offense, just because she is the daughter of Pastor Egole and uh, Mrs. Ifeyemwa Egole. Now, not been found. I have not spoken with him. Don't, don't know where to find him until now. Gentlemen, do you have any other questions? Uh, in the absence of any other question, we want to thank you and we want to assure you. That